Hey everyone, today on the plastic canvas we're going to paint the bases on some Deep One hybrids from Mansions of Madness. from the plastic canvas and welcome to another video on this Mansions of Madness miniature painting series. Um, just really quickly before I get into it, Mansions of Madness is a co-op exploration game where players take on the role of paranormal investigators and depending on the scenario that you're playing, go into a location, um, exploring it, trying to work out what's going on, getting to the bottom of a bit of a mystery, um, yeah, taking on some baddies along the way. Um, and so yeah, being a horror based game um, and there have been some baddies these are some of them these are our deep one hybrids um, on the back got a little bit of text to go along to to explain them so just at first glance he seems to be a human being but the creature conceals a corrupt secret within its blood um, so this is the, as you can see, these guys have already painted. This is the third video in this series where I'm taking minis that I've already painted and just finishing off with the base. And that's because these guys were, were painted up before I started this channel. So I didn't have an, I don't have any footage of that. Um, but I am catching these guys up with their bases. I'm basing, um, the other ones as I'm painting them and I want these ones to tie in thematically. So I'm doing those now. Um, but it's pretty easy to hit record, so I figured I might as well film them to um, give you guys an extra video to, to watch of me painting. Um, so pretty simple process to paint these guys to the point that they are at the moment. So just primed, um, using my brush on primer as I have for all of my minis so far. Check out some of my earlier videos um, to get more of an explanation about um, why I've been using a brush on primer. Um, and then just base coated starting inside out starting with the lowest layer did the skin first um, and then the shoes then the pants and then the jumpers so starting with the lowest layer and then working the way up to the topmost layer so painting the jumper after the pants because the jumper sits over the top of the pants um, so it just makes it easier for, for touching up going in that order then I just did a wash over over the whole mini. Um, so using so I've got my my Citadel um, set of washers. So Drakenhof Nightshade on the shirt. Um, I would say off memory Agrax Earthshade for the pants and for the shoes. I don't think it was Sarah from CP. I reckon it was the um, the brown Agrax, Agrax Earthshade and Reichlin Flesh Shade for the um, for all of the skin. Um, and then it was just a pretty simple highlighting on the pants um, just by um, just working back to the colour that I'd mixed up for the pants, which was a uh, brown with a little bit of grey mixed in, um, just picked out where the light would be hitting um, and then just continually added a little bit of white just to lighten it off until I was painting um, the parts that would be getting the most amount of light. But then with the jumper, um, that was just uh, starting off with around the trim, sort of the this bottom edge, um, just picking out each of those bits of detail. So just individually highlighting each of these, um, well, they're not threads, but um, each of these little sections. Um, same thing on the cuffs of the jumper and the collar. Um, but then the highlighting on the actual, like across the shoulders, across the chest, um, that was just done with a dry brush. So the first layer of the dry brush was just the same blue that I used to actually paint the jumper, um, which is, yep, um, oceanic blue. Um, and then as I then worked further and further up the mini and less and less highlighting was actually happening as it was getting closer to the, the highest concentration of light, um, more and more white was getting mixed in until it was almost a purely white highlight straight across the top of the shoulders, across the top of the back where most of the light would be hitting. Um, and that same process happened with each of them. As you can see, there are some different color combinations um, just to add a little bit of visual interest. But um, yeah, same process for each of them. So now I'm just up to doing the uh, doing the base. 
Um, now, from this point on, I'm probably not really going to stop at all and explain anything um, because, like I said, this is the third video like this where they're already painted and I'm just going to be going through to finish off the base. Um, I've explained in a number of the videos now um, how I'm using um, a ghrelin earth to create a cracked stone look so all the human shaped minis are going to be um, having the same looking base so that they tie in thematically um, so check out one of the other ones um, either like um, the ghost or um, the, the other shorter ones so like the um, the riot group or um, the Priest of Dagon and the Cultus, those have more of an explanation of what's going on. I'm following the exact same process, so I'm just going to try and keep this one really, really short. Um, so yeah, so it'll be priming so that I'm not painting the Agrellan Earth straight onto the base. Um, and then when that's dried, painting the Agrellan on a ghrelin earth on nice and thick so that it gets a really, really good crack as it dries. Um, and then painting over the Agrellan Earth um, with a grey base and um, wet blending in some blacks and whites to create some texture. Um, and yeah, so that's going to be the process. If you want more of a, an explanation of what I'm doing along the way, check out some of the other ones you'll see in the thumbnails, um, what, what the base looks like, so you'll be able to pick them out from, from there. But yeah, so probably just going to go straight through um, just painting. And uh, yeah, I'll come back in at the end and we'll have a look at how they how they've gone.
Right, so there we go. Bases are done on our Deep One hybrids. Um, not really much to mention there that I haven't sort of already said in the other videos where I've done this method for the basing and just with the egg roll on earth, waiting for it to crack, then painting it up to, to look like stone. Um, I used and I tried to sort of hold the, um, uh, well I can just bring it in now, um, the packet whatever of the um, grass tufts that I used just to sort of hold it there for a while so that you could actually see what I was using. It was just the Mountain Tufts by um, Army Painter. Um, first time I've used that one I used the, the Swamp Swamp Tufts for the Dark Druid. Um, so really the only thing I'm going to mention there is uh, I, um, when I was painting and I was putting the Agrell on Earth down um, there were a couple of little spots on their feet that I sort of slopped it onto their feet a little bit just because I was trying to put it on thick and I thought, ah, oh, that's all good. Um, I can go back, touch the shoes up, not a problem. Um, and then about a third of a second after I put the varnish on, I realised, ah, shit, I didn't touch the feet back up. Now, I don't know if you can paint over a varnish or not. You might be able to... Um, so yeah, let me know if you can. Um, but yeah, I didn't. I didn't sort of want to go ahead and do that in case I was going to going to ruin it. So part of the positioning of these grass tufts was to sort of hide the fact that I painted their their feet a little bit. So like this guy here in particular, um, yeah, his left foot there's got a little bit of a grill and earth on it. But hey, you can't tell because there's there's grass all over it. Um, this guy here, I managed to keep it off okay. So I spread those tufts around a little bit. Um, and then here, um, I noticed there was a little bit just in, in on the inside of his foot there, even after I put the the grass down, I just got my knife and just and just knocked it off. But just yeah, this tuft here is just hiding a little bit just on the front of his foot there. So the the magic of basing. Anyway, so yeah, so they're they're done. Um, happy with how they've come up. Um, yeah, I did sort of try to place the the grass a little bit differently on each one just so that there is a little bit of variety. I initially started with. Um, whichever one it was. Um, there's three different sizes of tufts in those packets. There's the the tiny ones, which actually watch, I think all of these are. I... No, looking back at the packet, there is a medium sized one in there somewhere. Ooh, maybe that one, maybe, not sure. Anyway, I went with one of the large ones first of all, and just with the scale compared to these guys, it, it just looked too big. It looked like it was standing next to like a bush rather than just some some grass anyway so yeah went with the tiny ones except for probably that one there which was the the medium one so yeah so it just kind of gives it a little bit of a little bit of variety and yeah just like grass sort of growing up between the the cracks and the stones anyway so there we go um yeah didn't didn't stop and talk anywhere through there because if there's anything that you want to know about any of those steps that i went through there um check out some of the the videos that have gone up before this one um, where I've gone through this process, you'll see in the thumbnail, you'll be able to see the base, so so check out those ones where I, I do actually stop and talk a little bit more. But yeah, so there we go, a few more guys that are ready to go into the box and come out during the games. Um, but yeah, so thanks very much for spending some time watching me paint um, a few more minis. If you did like this sort of video where I literally don't stop at all and and talk through it um, and which which obviously will shorten the video um, please do let me know down in the comments I'm trying to make these um, you know all of these videos are from start to finish as much as possible but um, if if this is a type of video that you liked where yeah I just you know either paint a particular aspect of the the mini or if it's a start to finish with no talking at all which will speed it up please do let me know and I can um, sort of have a look at doing a few more of them. But yeah, so thanks very much for, for stopping by, watching another video. I really, really do appreciate any time that you put into watching these. Um, yeah, leave a comment down below, something that you liked about it, something that you think can be improved so that I can make these videos as good as possible. Uh, and yeah, hit the like and subscribe if you enjoyed it so that you can keep up to date with other videos as they come up. Um, yeah, nothing else that I'm going to mention there. So this is Matt from The Plastic Canvas signing out. Happy painting everyone. Cheers.